Amen. 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 How's it going? I'm enjoying it so far. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. I work for a company called UCB up in Stoke. That doesn't mean anything to you, so don't worry about it. <laughs> We're going to talk for 15 minutes or less on a very important subject. Where are we going now? Okay, I think I'm doing this now. Who's got a smartphone? Who's got a smartphone in the pocket? Take it out. Switch it on. Don't phone anyone, but this is going to be quite important. Go on. Now, the first thing you can do is follow me or Nathan up there. There's a Twitter and Facebook addresses. And you can start hashtagging speak out there, okay? What we're going to talk about tonight is Project Holland for God. Now, hands up if you've ever been on the internet. <laughs> what a stupid question, isn't it? Hands up if you've ever led somebody to God on the internet. Tough question, isn't it? Can you imagine that right now, somewhere in the world, somebody's typing into search engine, Who is God? Who is Jesus? What did he do? What does he mean? When did he live? Where did he live? Other people are typing in, my marriage is on the rocks. Or younger people are typing in, I don't know the meaning of life. Why are your parents on my back all the time? Everyone somewhere, one country or another, is typing in something, searching for answers that they haven't got yet. Now, you know you've got your smartphone, hold them up, just use them as a torch if you've got one, hold your phone up. How many people's got one? Got a torch on your phone? Come on. So how many, how many is there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about 20 of us, yeah? Now, every person who's got a Facebook account, and I know Things are changing, yeah? And we, we're off onto the next network. But when Facebook was really coming out and popular, every person had an average of 83 friends. So if you typed in on your Facebook account, lookingforgod.com, 83 people would see that on your timeline. And if there's 20 of you doing that here tonight, 1,600 people see that website. So we came up with this idea about five years ago. Wouldn't it be amazing if we could have a website and a mobile app? We haven't got the app yet, but that's coming. And we could, based on what people were typing into Google and other search engines, we could put that website at the very top of the search results list. And then people would be a bit curious, oh, what's that then? I just asked a question about God, and this Looking for God website came up at the top of the list. So they click on the website, and then they get to watch a snazzy video, or somebody from Nice, but I don't know what that means in. <laughs> and then they work through some pages. Who is God? Who is Jesus? What can he do? How did he die for us? Why did he die for us? And little by little, they work their way through the site, through their own curiosity, looking for answers to life, and then they may get to the point themselves where they pray that prayer. Now many of you have reached that place yourself. You've put yourself right with God. You've spent some time, you've prayed a prayer, you've brought your sin to God, and you've accepted Jesus in your life, and that, that's one of the reasons why you're here tonight. There's billions of people who haven't done that yet. Billions. Not millions, billions. Tell your friend, billions. Maybe not with the same accent as me. Right? Imagine now someone somewhere searching as we speak. As we speak. Someone is searching somewhere. So, in a, in a second, we're going to show you an overlay on Google Earth. I don't know if anyone of you have used Google Earth before. Just go to the last, very last slide, guys. 
This project's been going on around the world for quite some time, and uh, it'll come up in a second. There's multi languages now using this kind of website, different countries. And what we've done now, if you can swap it to the Google Earth screen, um, we've created a way of looking at where those people are. So when they use the computer and they search on Google, the website traces the server that they connected to. So we know roughly within about 100, 200 meters where they were when they made a decision. And those decisions are going on right now. Every time this map moves, someone in the place that it's landed has just made a decision for Jesus. Wow. Wow. Right? So let's watch the map now, see what happens. That person was in Indonesia. That's a Muslim country. Right? So that's probably a Muslim who just found Christ. Amen? Here we go again, go in your hand, go in the land. America, they need God in America. Now, look, that's, you know, that, see the houses in the background, that's roughly, yeah, roughly the area. You understand, we don't go down to the house that they live in. <laughs> If you're in a closed country, you could get killed for making a decision for Jesus. So we don't want to divulge that. So it's roughly the area. Yeah? Where are we going now? Sudan. Wow. Been in the news. Sudan. Now here's my challenge. You haven't seen Britain up there, do you? You haven't seen Cardiff. You haven't seen London, you haven't seen Edinburgh, or Glasgow, or Swansea. Why don't we change that? You guys could go back to your churches and say, I've seen this incredible thing at Speak, where somebody from Angola made a live decision and we were able to witness it on Google Earth. And what you can start to do is start putting the word out about looking for God in your area. You could print little cards up, you could have a t-shirt, you could put something on your Facebook account. And somebody, through their own curiosity, will go on the website, will work through the pages, and will make a decision for Jesus. What we set up in the UK, and we're going to pray for some of these in a second, Jakarta. What we set up in the UK will start a conversation and we put the person who's investigating in touch with a real life mentor in church. They start a conversation, they go and have a coffee and then we track their progress all the way through until they get integrated into the church. We'll have about 1200 churches on the system in the UK soon. If your church, if your youth group, if you are impressed by that, join us, join in. Join in. So far, just in the UK, since we've been testing the system, we've seen over 7,000 people make a decision for Jesus. So, Uganda Kampala. Nathan, my friend, who's um, working with us from West, up in Bridget. Me, me and him and you guys are going to pray for some of these guys. Is that okay? Can you imagine now 200 or so prayers influencing that, the life of somebody who just got saved in Russia? In Ural in Russia. Stretch your hands up. Let's pray together. Lord, Bless that person, we pray in Jesus' name. Protect them, Father God. Protect their decision and let them grow up strong in faith. Lord, we just pray over that person that they would become a missionary from Russia to the country surrounding it in Jesus' name. Amen? amen. You say amen to that. Now, Nathan's going to pray for the next one. And I'll pray for the final one and we'll all pray together. Is that okay?
And then speak has happened, 15 minutes. <laughs> and it's over. If you fill in your forms, hold up your uh, orange forms. My name's Carl Brettel. I'm in the middle column, halfway down. If you take my name, you've got a computer in the house, I can send you a link and you can run that on your own computer. Norway. Father, we thank you for this person in Norway that's praying. Lord, we pray that you come for them, send the Holy Spirit into their lives and they will know you deeper. I pray they find a local church that preaches the gospel and they will grow in Christ. Lord, we pray that you just use this person to reach out to others, that they would tell everybody they know in this area about lookingforgod.com and they might find it too in Jesus' name. Amen. Sit down again. Let's stand up for this one. Come on, stretch your hands up together. Lord, we just finish off with this person. We just made a decision for you. Would you put your hand on them, Lord? They may, they may not even know where they're going to have food tomorrow. They may be on an internet cafe somewhere nearby in Sudan. We just pray, Lord, that the decision they made tonight will change their lives in Jesus' name. For this one, Lord God. In Saudi Arabia, another closed country, another Muslim nation. Put your hand on this person, Lord. Let them become evangelists to Saudi Arabia and the Muslim nations beyond it. And everyone said? Amen. 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 Thanks, guys. God bless.